हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज क्लास थ्री माय लिविंग वर्ल्ड चैप्टर टू प्लांट्स अराउंड अस एंड दिस इज द क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर सेशन सो आई विल टेक यू टू द क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर डायरेक्टली ओके ऑल राइट सो द फर्स्ट वन ओके फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स सो व्हाट इज द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन डैश कैरीज ऑल द पार्ट्स ऑफ द शूट इन अ प्लांट सो एज आई टोल्ड यू whatever is below the soil it is called as root r o o t whatever is above the soil it is called as shoot s h o o t so what carries all the parts of the shoot stem stem carries all the parts of the shoot what is the second question the strong woody stem of a tree is called the trunk you are right what is the spelling t r u n k trunk is the strong woody stem of a tree okay what is the next question a dash has a thin and green stem what has a thin and a green stem herbs you're right herbs has a thin and green stem okay fourth one musk melon and grass are examples of what did i tell you grass spreads on the ground musk melon plant also spreads on the ground so what spreads on the ground creepers yes you're right creepers okay right what is the fifth one dash is an example of a climber plant so which plant climbs what is the example of a climber plant grape g r a p e grape okay all right so you all have written this let's go to the next one match the following okay the first one is tree so let's see here is bitter gourd a tree no tomato no pea plant no mango yes mango is a tree see i have already marked it here okay mango is a tree next one shrubs which one is a shrub yes it's there in the book only okay rose is the shrub roast rose plant is are the shrubs next one is herb next one is herb so which one is herb tomato tomato is the herb that is correct and next one is climber pea plant pea plant is the climber plant okay and the last one creeper which one is the creeper bitter gourd bitter gourd is the creeper plant okay all right so next let's see the next one c tick the correct option the plants that give shade to humans and animals are called as which which plant grows big yeah tree grows big in size and it gives shade shadow so trees you're right and the next one second one the part of a plant that stores seeds is known as what store seeds in it we have read it yes fruit fruit stores the seeds in it that is correct and next what is the next one the plants that look like bushes with many branches are known as the second category we read what was that shrubs that is correct shrubs are the plants that look like bushes with many branches okay right now the d is answer the following questions there are four questions here so which i have answered it i will take you through it okay see here i have answered all the questions what is the first question state the function of a leaf so what the leaf does leaves has a green color substance called chlorophyll we read that right do you know yes chlorophyll which help plants prepare its food okay you also write this in your book or on your notebook okay so the second question write the role of the roots of a tree so what is the second answer right the roots of a tree are very strong and go deeper in the soil the roots of a tree are very strong and go deeper in the soil so it absorbs water from deeper part of the soil and also fixes the 
tree in the soil see we first what we first saw what root does root fixes the plant in the soil and the roots of a tree also go very deeper and absorbs water from the soil what is the third question what type of stem do climbers have what type of stem do climbers have climbers plants have very weak and thin stem it will be very thin and weak they cannot stand or grow straight they cannot grow straight they cannot stand on its own you no know? they need support to climb they need support to climb right what is the next one state the difference between the stem of a shrub and a herb so you now you all know what is how does shrubs stem look like shrub stem will be woody and strong shrubs have a woody stem but not big as trees it is not big as trees it is small but very strong but herbs have thin stem which are green in color which are green in color which are green in color okay all right so now i have given you all the answers for this let's go to the next question and answer right so the next part of question answer is e okay answer the following questions draw and label different parts of a plant so here i have given you a plant here i have given you a plant with different parts okay so you all copy this okay so it starts from you no know, below the soil is root there are what are all the various roots i have given so above the soil is shoot above the soil is shoot and there are seeds and fruits leaves you no know, shoot everything buds flower everything i have given so you can also write it in your draw a plant and mention the names in your notebook or in your book okay right what is the second question write any three features of trees so what are the three features what are the three features of a tree stem okay i will i will first expand it so that you can see it very clearly okay yes so write the three features of a trees are stem are woody and strong tree's stem is very wood woody it is called as trunk okay it has you no know, lot of branches gives shade to humans and animals see trees has lot of branches and it gives shade shadow to the humans and animals okay and the tree lives for several years it lives more than 100 years these are all the important features of trees okay right the next one so what is the next question write the difference between tomato and grass write the differences between tomato and grass so what are all the differences between tomato and grass tomato plant is shrubs with thin stem but can stand to small height tomato plant is a shrub okay it will have a stem a green stem it can stand it can stand it is a small plant it is a small plant it can stand and it's a seasonal plant it will live for few years it will live for few years but grass is a creeper grass is a creeper with very thin and weak stem it has a very thin and weak stem which cannot stand and spread in the ground so creepers spread on the ground okay all right what is the fourth question why do some plants creep on the ground why do some plants creep on the ground plants creep on the ground as they cannot stand because their stem is thin and weak so why do creeper could not stand because creepers plants stems are very thin and weak and the vegetable it gives also heavy for example let's assume pumpkin watermelon these are all very heavy vegetables so they spread on the ground so creepers spread on the ground okay so now we have seen this okay we have seen all the question answers now let's go to the next session okay all right so next is the value based questions next is the value based question so let's read it 
Okay, you also read it with me. Rita's grandfather brought many fresh mangoes from his farm. Okay, she is Rita. Rita had a grandfather and he brought fresh mangoes from his farm. Okay, Rita's mother gave a few of them to their relatives and neighbors. So when Rita's mother saw the fresh mangoes, she shared it. She gave it to the friends and neighbors and relatives. Okay, she gave some to their maid. Maid means what? Those who work in your home. Okay, workmaid. She gave some to their maid and other household workers. So Rita's mother gave the fresh mango to the neighbors, relatives, his maid, workers, everyone. Okay. Rita also decided to invite her friends for a mango party because there is a lot of mangoes. Rita wants to invite her friends. So at the party, no, now all the friends has come to the party. Rita called everyone on no. Hey, come, come. We have fresh mangoes. Let's we all eat together. <laughs> so every all her friends came. When you also have mango, you should also share it, right? Yes, it will be very tasty and you can enjoy it with your friends. Okay, so at the party, Rita's mother narrated a interesting story which encouraged them to plant different types of plants as and when possible. So what Rita's mother said, she said a small story and she also said they, the, everyone should plant small, small plants, fruits, plants, vegetable plants, uh, no, whenever it is possible. I'm sorry. Whenever it is possible. The children promised to do that. So in your school also your teacher will tell you. Uh, no, even I am telling you. You should plant lot of plants. You should grow plants. Okay. Right. So no, now the, all the children promised that they will plant lot of plants. And they then enjoyed the mangoes and the mango dishes made by Rita's mother. They then played games and thanked Rita and her mother before leaving for their homes. So everyone, all Rita's friends came. They ate mango. Rita's mother said, told a story. So now uh, they heard it and they all promised her that they will plant a lot of plants and trees like that. And they all ate mango, mango dishes made by Rita's mother. And they said, bye bye, thank you. And they all went to their homes right now what is the questions now there are some questions on it what is the first question state the values displayed by rita's mother what all the values rita mother displayed number one when her father no that's a rita's grandfather no brought what rita mother did she shared it she shared it with her relatives neighbors you know the maid and the workers in her house and around nearby neighbors okay that is the value see you should always share that's a good value okay right what is the next one do you appreciate do you appreciate rita's sharing habit yes see what rita did rita also called her friends she also wants to share the mango with her friends so she called all the friends and no uh, right about friends so we appreciate her right about some situation right about some situation where you shared something with your brother sister or friends so you also you know write it in the comments right what what all you have shared fruits chocolates biscuits when your mother father uncle and every anyone grandparents bring you or give you any chocolate biscuits or fruits do you also share it with your elder sisters younger sisters brothers and with your friends yes yes means you should share it if you are not doing it you should start sharing it okay right what is the third one third one is learn about the reasons for which rita's mother gave her advice to the children so what is the written what what was the advice rita's mother told to plant lot of plants and trees in their homes what is the reason for their advice because it is very very good right plants are the you no know, plants take intake you no know, carbon dioxide and exhale oxygen for us plant is very green it gives you fruits flowers vegetables everything to you so you should grow 
plants in your home, neighborhood, everywhere. Okay. All right. So let's see what is next. Right. The next thing is something to do. Something to do. What what they are telling us to do? Go for a go for a nature walk. Go for a nature walk. Go for a nature walk. Observe different types of plants. Try to classify them into trees, shrubs, herbs, climbers, and creepers. So you should go to the. You should go out. Take your. I know. Ask your parents to take you out to a park or somewhere. And wherever you see plants, no, you should classify that. If it is a big plant, it is called as tree. If it is a small plant, you should know. You should know which whether it is shrubs or herbs. What it is. If the plant is not straight but is spread around the ground, it is creepers. And if it is climbing with any support, it is called as climbers. So you should also classify. Okay, right. So what is the next one? Name any two trees growing in your school and in or around your home. So you should put this in the comment box. Okay, you in your school is there any trees? Ask your teacher. Teacher, please tell me the name of this. tree if you are, if there is any fruit or no vegetable i'm sorry fruit trees you should also mention that okay prepare a chart showing a few herbs shrubs trees climbers and creepers so you should prepare a chart okay in a big chart you no know, uh, put you no know, uh, uh, draw you can draw or stick some plants and you should name it for example if you are sticking mango tree you will make mango tree and then if you want put rose rose is a rose plant is a shrub like that no you will do a chart work okay i think we have completed the lesson okay students we have completed chapter 2 in my living world okay you also write all the question and answers and no you have any doubts clarifications put it in the comment box share this to your friends and also subscribe the channel thank you bye bye